My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 97 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at polymerization. Polymerization is a common phenomenon among organic compounds. It is a phenomenon where you see smaller compounds or smaller molecules combine to form a bigger ones. The smaller molecules or the smaller uh, compounds that combine are referred to as the monomers. Why the bigger molecule formed or the bigger compound formed or the bigger unit formed are referred to as polymers. So, polymerization is simply monomer plus monomer to give polymers. For example, if you look at protein, protein is a polymer. It's a big boy. It is a build-up. The smaller molecules that make up protein are referred to as amino acid. Therefore, Amino acids are the units or the monomers of protein. In the next episode, we shall look at a lot of compounds and their build-up, that is, their monomers. But in this episode, we shall see the various types of polymerization and classification of polymers. Polymerization can be addition and it can also be substitution polymerization, addition polymerization, and substitution polymerization. In addition polymerization, two or more molecules of the monomers, we have two or more molecules of the same monomers, which means we have the same monomers combining to form polymer. Example of this is um, uh, protein. For protein, we have so many amino acids, the same molecules combining to form protein. In polyethylene or polyethylene, you see so many ethene molecules combining to form polyethylene, which means we have the same molecules. Two or more molecules are the same. The monomers are the same. But for condensation polymers, it involves two or more different monomers. The units, the build-up, are of different materials. For example, phenomethanol. Phenomethanol is a polymer that is formed when phenol and methanol combine. Phenol is simply hydroxy benzene. When OH is attached to benzene, the product is phenol. So, phenol and methanol, it ends in A, which means this is an A canal. When phenol, which is an alcohol, reacts with methanol, which is an A canal, the product is phenomethanol. This is a very big compound or a bigger molecule. The monomers will be many of phenol and many of methanol. They are of different molecules. So, in addition, two or more of the same molecules combine. In condensation, two or more molecules or two or more different molecules. Addition polymer does not involve the elimination of water. And it also does not involve the elimination of other smaller molecules. But for condensation polymer, it involves the elimination of water and other molecules. Examples of addition polymers are polythene, PVC, which is polyvinyl chloride, then polystyrene. These are hot cake examples of addition polymers. Once again, the hot cake uh, examples of addition polymers are polythene, PVC, that is polyvinyl chloride, and polystyrene. Examples of condensation polymers are urea methanol, phenomethanol and nylon, even terylene, they are condensation polymers. Nylon, terylene, phenomethanol, and urea methanol, which is urea and methanol. All that being said, let's see the classification of polymers. 
Polymers can be grouped into natural polymer and synthetic polymer. Natural and synthetic. Or we can say natural polymers and artificial polymers. Natural polymers, they occur in nature. You just see smaller molecules combined to form a bigger molecule in nature. It is not made by man. Example, rubber. You know rubber, right? Rubber occurs naturally from latex, blah, blah, blah. But rubber is a polymer. It occurs naturally. Therefore, it is a natural polymer. Carbohydrate is a polymer. This is a natural polymer. Proteins are polymer, made up of amino acids as monomers. Fat and oils are natural polymers. Now, synthetic polymers are also called plastic. Anytime you hear plastic, know that we are talking about synthetic polymers. Anytime you hear plastic, know that we are talking about synthetic polymers. Now, there are two types of plastic. We have the thermoplastic and we have the thermoset. For thermoplastic, you can soften them repeatedly by heat and you remove them. You apply heat, it soft, you remove them. Examples are polythene, polypropene, polystyrene, nylon, paspes, and perylene. Examples of thermoplastics are polythene, polypropene, polystyrene, nylon, paspes, and terylene. But for thermosets, they cannot be heated and removed repeatedly. Okay? And examples are bakelite and urea methanol. Anytime you see bakelite and urea methanol, one, they are plastic, and two, they are thermosets. You cannot heat them and try to remove them on like thermoplastics. That is it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we shall have a list of polymers and their uh, monomers. It's going to be interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you've not subscribed to this channel, do that right now. And feel free to get the Flash Learner Jam app and begin to play with questions. You want to any, uh, you want to discuss anything with me? Share your thoughts. Feel free to reach me on my WhatsApp. See ya in the next episode.